Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I am super excited for this video because we are going to be finally playing with the new Tiny Marvels palette, which is a collaboration between Cindy Grace Cosmetics and Mel Thompson. I was so excited about this because I have been obsessed with the Cindy Grace formula recently and also I really like Mel. I think she seems like such a sweet person. So here is the inside color story. I think it's really, really pretty. There's some pastels, some duochromes, some kind of muted neutrals. I feel like this is a really inspiring palette for someone who likes colorful shadows and neutral shadows, which is definitely what I've kind of been lingering between recently going back and forth. So I feel super inspired looking at this. So in today's video, I'm going to do some swatches and I Look, and then at the very end I'll kind of give you my thoughts on the palette so far if you are new to my channel hello my name is Amy and I love doing videos on indie makeup I post multiple times a week so if you also love indie makeup or if you're just getting into it don't forget to hit that subscribe button now let's go ahead and jump right on in I wanted to do swatches first today just because I don't know what I want to do for my eye look but first we have the shade web and this just looks to be kind of a satin white it's a little bit icy and then we have the shade tree hopper which looks to be a really soft camely brown there is a little bit of kickback going on and then fire butts is kind of like a silver super intense metallic it almost has just the tiniest tint of olive to it it looks really pretty the funny thing is with this palette is that i actually thought I was going to be receiving it last week. It was, it went from California to one city over for me in North Carolina, back to California, back to me. I don't know what happened with the post office. Um, so I, that's why my nails were minty green last week because I painted them to match the pastel green in here, but we've moved on to peach now. All right, next we have another matte and this is walk and stick. And again, it's kind of a little bit more of like a camely brown. The neutrals in here between these three are kind of giving me Natasha Nona Camel Palette vibes, but this one does feel a little bit less kick up -y. And then we have Scarab, which I believe is the only shade in this palette that is not new. I think the original shade was called Red Chameleon or something like that. If I'm wrong, I'll leave it on screen. I'll go back and check. Uh, but it's a classic kind of brown blue duo chrome. Super, super pretty. I appreciate that even though they renamed it for the palette to go with the theme that they were honest that it is a repeat. So if you already own that one and you're looking at this palette and that's the shade that's calling to you, you can go ahead and just pull the single back out or you could just buy the single right now if you don't own it, whatever. And then we have the shade Fluttery. No, that says Flutterby. And this is more of like a muted pinky peachy matte shade. Look how smooth that is. So pretty. All right, next we have the shade BB, which looks like a really pretty golden shade, but it's very, very yellow. It's not your typical kind of bronzy gold. I like that it has some vibrance to it. We have Mantis, which is a green pastel, and then Meadowhawk, which is a really pretty rose gold. Okay, next we have a matte called Love Bug, and this one is kind of a classic mauve, super, super pretty. We have Jewel Bee, which is a lavender pastel, and then Marvel, which is more of just like a bronze. It has a little bit of like a champagne-y tone to it. Lastly, we have Death Moth, which is a really pretty, just cool toned, neutral brown. And then we have Bugaboo, which is a burgundy matte. Really excited that that is in there. And then Spider, which is a deep matte brown. So, I mean, it swatches absolutely beautifully. Everything looks so nice. All of the metallics have a really strong, beautiful foil texture. The only one that's different is that first shade, which is more of a satin. For as far as the mattes go, they all felt really smooth, really creamy. The only one that had a ton of kick up swatching was the first matte. All the other ones didn't feel quite like they were moving around as I swatched, so I feel like there won't be a ton of fallout. It looks so pretty to me. 
So I already went ahead and primed my eyes today with the Milani Eyeshadow Primer for longevity and then the Tarte Shape Tape for some coverage. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the shade Flutter By. Okay, I am getting some kick up as I put the brush into the palette, but I'm gonna go ahead and start that off through my crease with a large fluffy blending brush. Just using that as my transition shade today. Immediately blending out really easily. I'm not surprised because like I said, I really have been enjoying the Cindy Grace Cosmetics formula. I'm also gonna go ahead and take more of Flutter By, but take it on a very precise crease brush that has more of a taper to it and really build that up through the crease to give it a little bit more impact. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of Bugaboo. Just gonna go ahead and pop that on the outer V. I feel like it's not looking that burgundy. It's mostly just looking very brown with this peach shade. But again, blending super, super easy. And then I'm gonna go back into my previous brush and blend over the edge. I'm gonna go ahead and take a touch of Spider on a pencil brush and pop that on my outer V just to deepen this up a little bit more. I feel like this look was more colorful in my head. And then I'm gonna go back into my previous brush and blend over that. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna grab that pencil brush and go into a touch of Bugaboo, the burgundy, and start that off on the outer third. Now I'm going to take some of Love Bug and I'm going to pop that on the middle of the lower lash line. And I'm going to grab Jewelby. Pop that on the front of the lower lash line. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Meadow Hawk for the lid. And I am just going to go ahead and use my finger just because I really like using my finger with Cine Grace Metallics. And I'm just going to pop that all over the entire lid and then just lightly tapping that into the outer V with whatever's left on my finger. All right, now, oh my gosh, my stomach is growling. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I haven't eaten breakfast yet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here called Web and I'm putting that underneath the highest point of my brow and then just lightly blending it out. And then last but not least, for a little pop of something different, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the shade BB and I'm gonna pop that on my inner corner. I'm not gonna blend it too much with what's happening on the lower lash line because purple and yellow turn brown. <laughs> but I am gonna go ahead and lightly blend that into the rose gold. All right, I'm looking on my cheeks and it does not look like I got any fallout. So that is definitely good and I wasn't being super careful or anything. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna finish off my eyes off camera. I'm gonna use the More Mascara from We Makeup and then the Linda Hauberg Happy Mood Pencil through my waterline for a pop of yellow. Okay, for blush today, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take the shade Flutter By and I'm gonna dip into it really carefully with my blush brush. I just think it's a cute peachy shade, so I thought I'd try it as a blush. See how it blends and whatnot. That's actually blending pretty good for an eyeshadow on the cheek. Super pretty. I'm also gonna go into Web as my highlighter, popping that right at the very top of my cheekbone. Ooh, that's intense. Once most of the product is off my brush, I'm just blending it in. Lastly, for lips, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Wayne Goss Essential Lip Pencil in the shade Vintage Pink. And then, because I'm using the Mel Thompson palette, I thought I'd go ahead and pull out her collaboration with Christian Audette. This is the lipstick in the shade Beauty. It's all right, so this is the finished look and I really like how it turned out. I'm feeling very, very summery right now, but let's go ahead and talk about my thoughts on the palette so far. I will say from playing with it once that it does feel like the typical Sydney Grace Cosmetics formula and the quality is very high. 
The blendability is easy, the metallics are foil. The formula is just a joy to use, in my opinion. I feel like the colors are coming off a little bit more muted on the eyes, just as I look at my overall look. Yes, the yellow stands out, but even I feel like the pops of purple on the lower lash line kind of looked a little bit more muted on the eyes. The peach shade just looks a little bit softer, even though I really built it up. So I don't feel like if you're looking at this palette and you're like, how colorful can I possibly get? I'm going to be so colorful with this. I think it really does focus more on people who like neutrals with a pop of color, just from my experience today. I'm still really excited to play with the other colorful shades that I haven't touched yet, but that's just what I've noted so far. I think that the packaging, although originally I was kind of like, mm, bugs, not really my thing. Uh, my little sister's nickname is Bug, and it's like a long-term joke, so I've kind of just been thinking about her when I look at the covering. I actually FaceTimed her yesterday and showed her the palette, so the palette packaging has grown on me a little bit. I still think if Bugs give you the eebie-jeebies, you could just throw a sticker over it and call it a day if you really like the color story. So that is everything for today's video. Congratulations, Mel, on your palette, and thank you, Sydney Grace, for sending this over to me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see me do more looks with this palette, comment down below and give me your feedback so I know and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!